Hi everyone, uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Mandeep and in today's video uh, we are going to discuss RIS and Lasso regression and uh, as a general practice that we follow, uh, we first discuss the conceptual part, how things actually work in any of the concept. I try to explain all those things using whiteboard and then in uh, next following video i always do the practical implementation so uh, let's get started with the today's topic which is ris and lasso regression so lasso ris regression is uh, to start with uh, for example uh, in case of linear regression um, uh, we did uh, this thing y is mx plus b uh, we followed this line and uh, we try to plot uh, the value for let's say when we have only one variable let's say this is my x and this is my y so this is my feature variable this is my target variable and assume that uh, uh, we have only these data points and we somehow found a very exact best fit line for these uh, data points using this equation and uh, we found some value for slope which is m and uh, some value for b which is our intercept so uh, uh, suppose that uh, during the training we found this thing and uh, let's say uh, during testing somehow we got some data point somewhere here as well and uh, let's say like this and then using the same line uh, using the same model using the same line we try to predict uh, but uh, what will happen in this case our model will fail miserably because uh, during the training phase it uh, find the exact best fit line and uh, due to which our uh, you know our error or cost function our cost function was very minimum uh, so our cost function is generally represented as y minus y hat uh, square and we take summation of all the data points i is to work to and assuming let's say we have n data points so here y is the actual value and y hat is the predicted value so uh, assume that uh, during testing we get some points over here and um, um, but our model was trained and during training it gets overfitted overfitted means uh, during training it give our, us a very high accuracy and uh, very good accuracy score but uh, during testing it failed miserably and due to which uh, uh, what will happen is like uh, these are my uh, actual data points and uh, according to this line my model predicted this data point as here so this uh, this gap is generally uh, is a huge gap and this is taken as uh, error or uh, error between the data points actual and the predicted and what it will lead to uh, it will lead to our cost function to um, high value and uh, when our so basically what will happen when y minus y hat uh, this thing will be a, a, a big number and we will be doing a scare of it and then we will be summing it so it will become some big value uh, so some big value and this will cause us problem so this is the background for uh, going into RIS or lasso regression. So in uh, RIS regression, how we can kind of, you know, uh, avoid this problem. And one more thing uh, in this graph, if we uh, try to kind of, you know, uh, observe that uh, this, uh, this line, um, the predictive line has a very 
you know high slope value high slope means high, uh, very high very steep slope so that means that means that uh, for a change of single unit in x variable uh, let's say this is this is uh, this value is changing let's say uh, the change in y is very high so that means our slope is very steep fine so to tackle this sort of scenario we use ridge res regression how ridge regression handles this problem in ridge regression what we do we do uh, in this our cost function in ridge regression what happens is like we penalize it how we penalize it uh, in ridge regression what we do we take let's say this is my cost function and y minus y hat square what we do we add some uh, thing let's say some lambda uh, i will tell you what is this lambda into slope square here slope is my m so we take um, square of slope uh, m m square into some constant l is uh, sorry lambda is a constant value which we can take and it generally ranges from zero to some positive value fine so what will happen in uh, ridge uh, regression we will do uh, we will be uh, adding some some lambda into m of square lambda into m of square lambda is some constant value m is the slope and we are adding some this value into this cost function so what will happen in this case for example in this case during the training phase uh, when we draw this line uh, our uh, our this uh, this cost function was zero because we, we because during training we uh, trained our model and our predicted and actual value was uh, on exact the same line so what will happen it will have y and y hat to, will be having same values so y minus y hat will be zero and this whole thing will become zero so uh, wh what uh, in actual case before moving to this so it will be zero that means it has selected the best fit line nothing uh, best can be done in this case but in case of ridge regression what we will do we uh, take let's say uh, as i told you lambda is a constant value it ranges from zero to some positive value and we first take let's say lambda as one and uh, in this case let's say uh, some value of slope was let's say i'm just taking as a random value on 1.2 let's say uh, and what will happen is in this case um, 1 into 1.44 so whatever it is like 1.414 some some this sort of value will come so our cost function will become in case of uh, for this particular case our cost function will become 1.414 so what uh, and when cost function will increase uh, what our model will try to do our model will try to uh, find the next best fit line for example in this case let's say then in next iteration our model moves to let's say some somewhere to this line how and how it is deciding based on what factor it will decide since we are taking the uh, square of slope and multiplying it with some value then it means that we are adding some penalizing our overfitting and we are and which in turn will lead to our increase in cost function when our cost function will increase uh, then our model will pick the next best fit line where uh, the uh, cost function value can be reduced so our ultimate goal uh, always is to reduce the cost function value so how it will be reduced to reduce this uh, this um, our model will pick the next best fit line with less value of slope because uh, when less value of slope will be there um, then uh, when m will be less its square will be uh, again less and let's say in next iteration 
uh, it picked like somewhere like uh, m value if i let's say in the next iteration our model picked some value of let's say m for 0.9 so what will happen in that case um, this will be like 0 plus lambda is our 1 and let's say 0 0.9 square so this uh, ultimately uh, and then our cost function value will be uh, reduced so this way what will happen uh, at each iteration our model will try to uh, move to towards that line uh, which has less slope and when less slope will be there it will be trying to predict the next best fit line which could uh, work better uh, in training as well as the testing uh, scenario as well you, you can imagine that like uh, as i told you that during training this was our these were the data points and our our line was the best fit but in testing we get some data points here and here so what happened due to this um, there was an error margin of error and due to this margin of error our model failed uh, miserably so to handle this scenario what we did we added some penalty in form of this equation to our model and uh, what it will lead to it will lead to rise in cost function so when cost function will rise we always try to uh, minimize the cost function so our next uh, value which our model will pick it will pick a value with less less slope value and when less slope value will be there it will pick the next best fit line which could uh, work uh, better for training as well as the testing data points so uh, it will keep doing this again uh, iteratively till it gets the best fit line and this is how ridge regression um, helps to solve the problem of overfitting and the same way uh, our lasso regression works lasso and ridge are very similar uh, the only difference between lasso and ridge is uh, instead of uh, taking the square of slope value in lasso regression we take as uh, the absolute value of uh, our uh, this slope values so how it will be like summation of 1 is to n and then y minus y hat square then we are adding some penalty in form of lambda and here we are taking only absolute value so this is lasso regression and this is our uh, ridge regression so this is guy uh, this is uh, how these uh, two concepts works guys and uh, i hope uh, all these things make sense to you uh, if you have any question about ridge and lasso regression how they uh, internally works or how the what is the mathematical formula or terms that works behind them in case of uh, when linear regression fails in uh, and it does overfitting so ridge and lasso regression helps a lot us in those scenarios and this is the example uh, in crux or in gist if i describe ridge and lasso regression in one liner so the ridge and lasso regression comes to our rescue in those scenarios where linear regression does the overfitting during the training phase but during the testing phase it fails miserably then what we do we try to kind of you know uh, increase our cost function using adding some penalty to it in form of lambda into m square in regression case and in form of lambda into absolute value of m uh, the slope in case of lasso regression uh, so um, we when we try to increase the cost function so uh, what will happen our if for some uh, iteration of if our uh, cost function will increase then our model will uh, pick the next um, best fit line when, or next values in next iteration which could lead to decrease the cost function so to decrease the cost function it will pick a value with less value of m that means less value of slope when less uh, less value of slope will be there so this 
this line this line will move towards this line so our y x i mean it will move towards x so that way this slope value slope is the angle between these x and y so that way this will decrease and when it will decrease it will be coming more near to the uh, points uh, which are generic or which are in testing which we have used in testing purpose so that will be the best fit line considering those training data points as well as the testing data points so this is basically how lasso and uh, ridge regression works guys and thanks for watching this video and this is the conceptual part in next video we will be uh, doing our practical implementation of both of these uh, lasso and ridge regression uh, thanks guys thanks for watching um,